I'm going to show you how to import the Lantelligence Windows 2012 Shortel configured 64-bit VMDK into VMware. So first thing I'm going to do is take a look at the, on our website, our download section, we have the Shortel Windows 2012 uh, VMDK file. And I'm going to show you how to use that and import it into your VMware environment. So first thing you want to do, I'm going to get this all on one screen here, is we're going to create a new virtual machine. We'll create a new virtual machine. Typical, next, we're going to call it, uh, you know, Shortel, say 2K12. 64. Okay, we go next. Next, we're going to say this Windows 2012 64 bit. Next, next, and let's just say that we're going to give this one gigabit of space. We just want to create a virtual machine, then we're going to import the VMDK. And then we create. So now it's created, it's creating it on the bottom. Um, but now we need to go in and modify. So what you can see here is we actually go in and take a look at um, the 2012. Look at the summary. And I'm going to go and browse the data store. So in the data store, we've created this Shortel 2K12. And you see it created a 1 gigabit VMDK. I actually have a version of the Windows 64-bit that you would upload. So you have to get it in your data store. I actually have it stored under... The Windows 2000 K12. So I'm actually going to make a copy of this. Say copy. And I'm going to paste it in here. It's going to take a, a few minutes to copy over. And that should go into your VMDK. So while that's copying, let's put it on pod. All right, we now have that VMDK that we just uploaded or copied over into that directory. So it's 15 gigs. And just to let you know that the minimum install with the Windows operating system and a little bit of space is just over 13 gigs. So we're trying to make it as small as possible. And uh, when you combine this into a zip file, it can compress down to 3 gigs. So it makes it much easier for a download. So now that I've got it in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my properties. I'm going to go into Edit, Properties, Edit Settings. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the existing virtual disk, so I'm going to delete that. I'm going to remove it and add a new one in. Okay, I'm going to select Hard Disk, Next. And I'm going to select Use an Existing Virtual Disk. Okay, now I'm going to go Browse to it, and it's going to be in the same subfolder that I currently created, which is this one, not the one gig. Next, 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 finish, OK. Now what I do is, now that once this is being built, I can start this up. I'll flip over to console here. And because the, the software was sysprepped, uh, it's going to start you right off at the um, putting in the key codes and the passwords as soon as it starts up. And it has been configured to have all the Shortel roles and services. It's got some Shortel specific software installed and things like the NTP server on Windows already configured. It's got some of the firewall and um, turned off, disabled. Uh, so all the stuff that depth settings are all configured. So really all this requires is um, logging in with your product key, your creating your admin password, installing your Shortel software. And the last piece is you'll have to go into your um, your virtual machine and you're gonna add some addition you're gonna have to add some additional resources to it because obviously you don't have enough. So that'll be in the next video, how to add additional resources and expand your D drive through importing the VMDK 2012 64 bit.